Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on the North Fork. So today, um, as you guys know, this place was uh, cut uh, last winter and there's a bunch of big meadows opened up and I wanted to seed those into uh, kind of like a food plot for the wildlife here. So I got a, spe I had a special blend of uh, different types of grasses and hay uh, uh, mixed up for myself to see how this goes. They're all high protein and a lot of them are found in uh, other blends that are commercially sold for food plots. Uh, I also had some sugar beets added in and uh, a couple other little goodies. But anyways, we're going to go uh, plant this today. My uh, oldest uh, girl Annalise is with me today, so we should have lots of fun. And uh, I just seen a rabbit run by there. Uh, anyways, um, let's go ahead and get this done. And hopefully, uh, it's still early enough in the season it'll catch and still grow a bit of a crop by fall, or we'll have uh, a chance to see what it looks like next spring. So, anyways, let's uh, head out here now. Okay, here is one of the little draws that we're going to uh, seed up here into hay. And, uh, yeah, should be really nice little meadow for animals to come down. And here's the main meadow I want to uh, get our little food plot going in. It's hard to tell with the angles, but it drops off the side of the hill here pretty nice. And then uh, right where um, those trees are, there's a big draw in behind there. And then another one in the front. It's a really cool place. So lots of little benches and things. And uh, yeah, so I think we're going to seed this little area first. I won't bother you well, filming the... Uh, broadcasting operation here that's just tedious but uh, just gonna take the bike go broadcast everything and uh, hopefully uh, later this fall we have a bit of grass or next spring it'll come but I think uh, there's still lots of time to grow it this year and uh, we'll work on cleaning some of this forest garbage up as well so anyways uh, we'll check back see how this looks in a couple months all right, uh, last fall I planted a bunch of grass seed. Um, it's spring now, I'm just gonna see what's come up. It's looking pretty good and uh, let's take a walk around and I'll show you guys. So here's one piece that I seeded with that hay. It's all starting to come up. Some of these areas that cut more snow, doing better than others. Kind of see the grass is really coming in. It's getting kind of green up around there. It's gonna rock around the other side and some of this is looking fairly green. So I'm fairly uh, excited about this. Yeah, this is all seeded hay in here last fall. It's all starting to come in. Put some seed up in there, it's all coming. All right, let's go check out the elk meadow. Okay, so here's our elk meadow. I uh, seeded all of this. It's starting to green up. Looks like uh, the grass did catch somewhat. Well, uh, see in a couple months if it uh, lives or not, but uh, so far so good. Tell it's a little bit, a little bit greener. Not, it's not all 100% grass, but it is coming. Well, guys, that's the end of another one. 
Uh, the next video you're going to see us burning some of these slash piles that uh, you see behind me here. Uh, we're not going to be lighting them all on fire, burning it right to the ground. Um, we have to do it uh, in smaller amounts because uh, otherwise we'll have a forest fire. And I tried to get a guy to come up here and burn it in the winter for me, but he uh, didn't really want to do it. So we're going to start uh, getting rid of it. Anything bigger we're going to cut for firewood. But uh, all the brush and branches and limbs, uh, we're going to start uh, burning those. So stay tuned for that video and see how we do it.